everybody, thank you for joining and welcome to the second episode of the Project Euler series where we go through each of these problems on projecteuler.net one by one and discuss different ways of approaching and solving the problem. Today we'll be taking a look at the second problem here, even Fibonacci numbers. So the prompt tells us that each new term in the Fibonacci sequence is generated by adding the previous two terms and they give us some of the first few terms. So the problem statement, by considering the terms in the Fibonacci sequence whose values do not exceed 4 million, find the sum of the even valued terms. So it looks like we have to consider how to generate the sequence, how to filter out the odd numbers, and sum them up until we hit this 4 million threshold. So I'm going to go ahead to the workstation here and create a new file for this problem. So we'll be doing our code in TypeScript. If you're not familiar with TypeScript, there should be no problem. TypeScript is very easy to read and follow along. The syntax is similar to other languages. So I'll be using a class here. You don't have to use a class yourself. I'm just using this to take advantage of one of my utility utilities in the utils folder. So just handle console logging and running the actual solution for us. The problem name is even Fibonacci numbers. So let's think about how you want to solve this. I'm thinking you just generate the numbers in the sequence, and as we're going, if the number is even, add it to some sum value. So we'll be collecting, aggregating the sum along the way, and when we reach that 4 million threshold, we'll return that sum. So I'm just going to call this do solve, just make a little helper method for us to separate things. First we can start with something that corresponds to this, so that we can test it against the input. Then we can make that limit actually 4 million. So I'll initialize that sum variable, set to 0, and we want to make a loop here. So while, see that's a point, we have to say while the current Fibonacci number is less than 4 million. So let's actually focus on that first. So I'm going to make a method here. I might make some extra methods and we can do away with them later, but for now I'm just going to work through the concept. So this method will just say get the next Fibonacci number. So and it'll accept the previous numbers. And all we're doing here is adding them. So nothing there. So let's, I'm thinking we can give the first two terms here. Prev A will be the first previous, preview will be the second previous. So we'll set that to one and two respectively because that's how it's defined here. And we'll set the current to the actual next number in the se sequence. Here we'll do while current is less than limit. And this says while it does not exceed 4 million, so we'll actually set this less than or equal to limit. So what do we have to do here? We have to check if the current value is even. So modulus 2. We'll check if modulus 2 is equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, that means it's even. And if it is, we add that value to the sum. Then what we'll do is we'll set the previous A value to the previous B value, and we'll set current, sorry, we'll set previous B to current. So we're shifting 1 now, so the leftmost number is actually the previous B now instead of previous A, and the previous B is now the current number. Now we'll set the current number to the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. And with that we should be good to return the sum. So let's give this a try with some lower value. So this goes up to 89, so we'll say 90 here. 
We'll see what output we get, and then we can check that it is correct. So this is telling us that the solution is 42. So let's see if we're correct. What we can do here is just add a little console log. So I'm just going to go through this list, pick out all the even numbers, and add them up here. So 2 plus 8 plus 34. And now we can go ahead and run it. So this is actually telling us 44, not 42. So that means we missed something. So what we missed, actually, we need to set sum to 2. This part doesn't add the sum until after we get the next Fibonacci, so if we set the sum to 2 initially to account for that initial number in the sequence, then we should be good. Yes, there we have. So the solution is 44. Our own manual math told us 44. So now let's try this with 4 million. make sure I did that properly. Yeah, we have 4 million there. Let's see what solution we get and how long it takes for the computer to calculate it. Okay, so that's good performance. 4613732. Okay, so we got it correct. So I would say that's a pretty efficient solution that we have here. Okay, so let's brainstorm just to see how we can make this code better. I think we have a pretty efficient solution at the moment. The function here, the method here, get next Fibonacci is a bit redundant because we're just adding the two values. It, it does make the code a little bit more declarative, but if we wanted to make it a little bit better, a little bit more declarative, more readable, instead of doing get next Fibonacci, we could just do something that tracks our current status and brings the next value accordingly. So something like what we're doing here, put that logic somewhere else and then here can just worry about making the sum. Now that's a little bit extraneous to this solution. That's what I'd be thinking more if I had to make a system that actually had to make it to some production environment. But still good to keep in mind, right? If this project grew a bit larger, then it would be good to separate that logic. Maybe then we could reuse it in other problems as well. We might see Fibonacci come up in other problems as we proceed through Project Euler. So that covers the content for today. If you made it to the end, please like and subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications for new Project Euler videos. I'm going to be putting these out pretty frequently. Thank you for watching.